Um, today on the Red Sofa, I'm talking to Jeff Jacobson, the president of Xerox's Global Graphics Communications Group. So, welcome, Jeff. Hi, Daryl. How are you? Very good, thank you. I feel you. like we've done this before. I know. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Um, so obviously, you know, 12 weeks ago, you joined from PressTech. What are your kind of impressions so far of Xerox? Well, I'm just overly enthused. It's probably uh, exceeded my expectations, which if you knew me better, that's very hard to do. Uh, <laughs> the, the opportunity is tremendous. Uh, you know, many people have questioned, is Xerox going more to the services? Mm -hmm. I think if you look at our booth, you look at the vibrancy, you look at the number of customers in that booth, you look at our investment, uh, you see that Xerox has one goal, and that's to be the leader in the graphic communications industry. Yeah, okay. And I mean, what are the key trends that are kind of impacting on those customers that you're talking to then? Yeah, I think, well, certainly a lot of them have come in understanding, if you go back to the last trooper, when the economy was booming, the last four years, relatively speaking, have been very difficult. So I think customers now, I'm very surprised and pleased to see the energy that they're bringing, their willingness to invest in their business, because I think they understand they need to do that. Mm -hmm. So from our standpoint, they're certainly looking at our iGen 150, mm -hmm. uh, which is something where they say I can increase my productivity by 25%. Certainly, I think a lot of people are looking at, at Inkjet. And uh, although this is called the Inkjet Trooper, 2008 was also the Inkjet Trooper. Uh, so I think that path is continuing. But I think what that actually shows is that this is an industry where the uptake tends to be a little slow yeah. uh, because people don't want to be pioneers and this is a very difficult economy to be a pioneer in. Hmm. Okay. And in terms of some new technologies on show, obviously uh, B2 Digital is quite an interesting area. Right. I mean, is that something you think that Xerox will be actively pursuing in the future? Yeah, we absolutely will. Hmm. I mean, if we look at where we're going to focus on, certainly commercial print will be a big part of our focus. And when you look at what commercial printers from the offset world are used to running in terms of size, B2 is even small. So I think we're certainly looking at all format sizes because we're going to go wherever our customers need to go and want to go. Okay. And in terms of technology as well, obviously, you know, land has got you know, a bit big presence here and there's a lot of activity around that. I mean, do those kind of partnerships, obviously, he's looking potentially for digital partners in the um, digital vendors as partner companies. Would that kind of appeal to you or Xerox, you know, Xerox technology all the way? Oh, no, no, no. I, I've been in this industry for 25 years and I've always believed in partnerships and as we say, co-opetition. You compete in some areas, you cooperate in others. Um, doesn't mean it's Lander or whoever because I haven't even seen you know, what they have yet. Um, but what we really do believe what's more important to me is who has technologies that can complement our core strengths. I think what we'll always do is what's core to us and then those things that are tangen tangential to us. Why invest in that ourselves? Let's partner with somebody. Okay. And uh, what's going to be your key takeaway, do you think, from Drupal when you get back home? I think the key takeaway, well, for me, first of all, this is my first Drupal with Xerox. It's my fifth Drupal, my first one with Xerox. And I came in with one mission, and that's to energize this team and to get them believe that we have the clear potential to be the leader in this industry. As I've said to you before we even started this, I joined this industry 25 years ago at the age of 27, and I loved having the strong companies in this industry. And unfortunately, due to the economy, we don't have enough strong companies in this industry. And when I saw I had the opportunity for this position and where Xerox wanted to take this from an end-to-end -end relationship, in the commercial print business, in the graphic communications business, it was something I could not pass up because I want to see more and more young people coming into this industry and making this a career. And I believe Xerox can be one of those companies that can be the bellwethers of this industry. Okay, well, great. Thank you for your time great. and have a fantastic show. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you. you. Too.